Before we get into the Clean Elections USA court appearance and what happened during it, we have some other Arizona news to touch on. A big one is the Secretary of State of Arizona had her office broken into, items were taken, so far suspect information is not released. Also, the US Justice Department released a statement that seems to suggest that at least one of the reported voter intimidation complaints could lead to criminal charges from Maricopa County. So what happened at the appearance? Well, we know that six incidents of voter intimidation were given to the Secretary of State and have been reported to the DOJ. From the sounds of things, we're talking about the attorneys. The one for Clean Elections USA appears to be very last minute. They seem to have gotten them at the last second. The hearing is an attempt to get an order prohibiting Clean Elections USA and its members from more voter intimidation. The attorney for Clean Elections USA, the main defense you're going to hear them repeat all the time is that this, the defendants can't be linked to the voter intimidation. And that there's no connection between the complaints of voter intimidation and the defendant's actions. Basically saying those that are there aren't doing the things on behalf of Clean Elections USA. They also said a temporary injunction would chill Dropbox watchers' rights. So the Arizona Alliance for Retired Americans was up first. Basically said, hey, a lot of our members vote by mail. And the recordings they're doing are intimidation. People are thinking, quote, well, it might not be safe for me to go out and vote. Clean Elections USA asked, how do you know Clean Elections is behind the monitors? And the response was, a journalist identified the group, the local journalist. ABC 15, make sure you cover them for more information. And also make sure you check out Democracy Docket. I'll link their rundown of what happened in court in the pinned comment. Now, from another alliance, they said, we are concerned voters will be afraid to go vote for fear of intimidation. We would have to divert our resources to education about how to deal with this intimidation in this new land state. And we are afraid that people just won't vote. So basically, they're saying that if this doesn't change, they're going to have to divert their resources to fight the intimidation because the landscape of voting in America in this area has changed. People are going to be afraid. Now, Clean Elections USA says, and I want to quote, I just want to preface by saying that nobody wants for your members to be intimidated, and we all want them to be able to vote without intimidation. So attorney asked, this is a Clean Elections USA attorney, if there is direct knowledge that the group behind the monitoring is Clean Elections USA, the group's founder posted on social media about the monitors and called people to join. That's the big point that the defense is trying to say. You can't tie this to Clean Elections USA. Now, the vice president of Voto Latino says the intimidation continues. They'd have to change how they encourage people to vote. Again, Clean Elections USA attorney asked, do you have direct knowledge that Clean Elections USA is involved with the monitoring? Next up is a stay-at-home mom discussing the recordings and the intimidation she felt when she went to go vote. Talking about people recording. And the Clean Elections USA attorney asked, well, you did end up getting to vote, right? And yes, she did eventually vote and asked if she knew for sure the phones were recording. She responded, well, you know, they're placed there like they are. Now, more attorneys for the plaintiffs introduce uh, Melody Jennings, Trump or Mel's social media posts promoting Clean Elections USA and the group's Dropbox plans. Remember, Clean Elections USA's entire push online has basically been for these Dropbox plans. You can see it all over uh, True Social. They also played a video from a reporter where they interviewed a man at the Dropbox who says he is with Clean Elections USA. A judge mentioned a federal court blocked an Arizona law prohibiting filming police and asked how this would be different, which is, in my opinion, ridiculous. An attorney for the plaintiff said there's a clear difference because you're filming police while they're doing their job versus armed masked individuals filming those just trying to vote. Attorney for the plaintiff said Melody Jennings has made implicit threats with her social media and Dropbox watchers aren't engaging in expression. They're not wearing signs or shirts, just doing photographs and intimidation, basically saying it's not like it's a protest. They're just there for the intimidation factor. The judge asked, how do I craft this injunction without interfering with people's First Amendment rights? The judge asked, well, what personal information is being photographed? Now, my opinion would be uh, all of it because we've seen what 2,000 mules did with videos for misinformation, and that's probably the plan for this footage, but the plaintiff's attorney says license plates. 
The judge says those are already public, but the plaintiff's attorney makes sure it's clear that those doing the recording of the license plates are covering their license plates because apparently they view it as something that shouldn't be recorded. Shocking, right? Plaintiff's attorney says an injunction would uh, survive scrutiny because the state has an interest in preventing voter intimidation. Remember that uh, the federal government here is getting involved, it appears, so maybe that will sway the judge's opinion on this. The plaintiff's attorney points out they have been at boxes almost every day in the past week, and there have been six complaints, as I said earlier. Clean Elections USA attorney says it's defended by the First Amendment. The judge asked, is Melody Jennings, Trump or Mel, basically Clean Elections USA, are they training the watchers? The attorney for Clean Elections USA says no, but the judge says that the interview they watched previously with the journalist makes it seem like they got trained. The judge asked, would Clean Elections USA agree to not post the license plates on the internet? And the attorney says, I don't know. That might be because he's just recently come into this case, but that's not a great look. Uh, true social post by Jennings calling people at the Dropbox our beautiful, beautiful people. She said they're our beautiful people. Clean Elections USA says just because she called them our beautiful people doesn't mean they're affiliated with Clean Elections USA. Clean Elections USA says an injunction would chill everyone's right to assemble. The attorney for Clean Elections USA says the group wants to stop the ballot mules, which remember, don't exist. 2000 Mules is a misinformation documentary, and that's what they're basing all this off. Plaintiff's attorney says they would have no idea if the people they are filming are casting legal votes or not. But they are an intimidation risk for every voter. The judge did not make a ruling, but said they're going to try to make a ruling by Friday. So, I know that's pretty long, but I wanted to go into the key points. Hopefully I didn't ramble too much or uh, not enunciate enough so you can understand what I'm saying. Uh, as I said, I'll link Democracy Docket talking about this. There's a lot I didn't bring up. I just wanted key points to update the story that we've been following. And as you can see here, ABC 15 was literally, the video was played in court. They're covering it extensively. They're also covering this Katie Hobbs situation. So I would highly recommend checking out ABC 15 and the reporters for it that are talking about what's going on in Maricopa County. Uh, most likely that's where we'll rule the ruling, whatever the judge decides will be posted. I'll probably find it from one of the reporters mentioning it. That or a Trump or Mel complaining about it on True Social if it doesn't go her way or bragging if it does. Um, now, of course, this is just one case. I want to make that clear. There is an entirely separate case from my understanding going on. This is also, don't forget, Justice Department's getting involved. Uh, how will this ruling go? Um, I could see the judge saying something like, don't film the license plates and basically leave it at that. Um, I could see them not doing anything. I could see them blocking them. I could see them going basically with any ruling, especially if the judge thinks maybe the U.S. Justice Department itself should be the ones to step in and decide what's going on. But um, yeah, I will say that I've looked through Trump or Mel's through social and there's a lot of support of the ballot watchers. Uh, she, at one point, talked about how that Clean Elections USA spoke to the people that were dressed and armed. So, I mean, trying to deny a connection there is pretty, in my opinion, ridiculous. The connection is there. The connection's public. We know about it. You've admitted it. It's on social media. 